Susan Elder is a great millstone who rule well. And that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say, the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shemiah with Shai to the best of their ability. This is Jachanan Nawaf. Just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, just wanted to do a quick lesson on um, our people actually trusting in Esau Edom's system and his kingdom, man, you know. Because I had a few situations this week, you know, just kicking it with a few people this week. And uh, mainly two women. A couple other people too, man. But it's just like, you know, people are sickly these days. I know um, one of my, um, one of the cashier attendants at the supermarket that I've been seeing for years. Always speak. Pretty nice lady. Um, but she said that her, you know, her, her daughter died right on her couch, man. <laughs> but the thing of it was, was, you know, just the way that she was kicking it. She's really just dependent upon Esau. She, you know, I get it. You have to, you, I mean, no, no, you know, they, they claim that they actually, she claims she's a Christian, all that good stuff like that. But these Christians, they have a lot more faith in Esau, the so-called white man and his medicines and his science than they actually have in the Lord. Because if Esau is actually doing anything to somewhat heal you, it's going to be coming from the Lord anyway. So you will have to go to the Lord about that. First off, you will have to pray to the Lord. First off, praise him and thank him because he's the one that wounds and he's the one that heals. He's the one that make alive. Let's get um, Deuteronomy 32 and 39. And it was just, you know, just kick it. it and it was kind of like, it, it's really useless, like talking to him in a sense. You know, you, you can't really give him. All you can do is kind of like, you know, just give him that, that regular old talk. Yeah, oh, okay, damn, that's messed up. I really hate to hear that. You know, that type of stuff. You can't really tell them, well, hey, you know. Because I've, I've spoken to, you know, you know, certain people, you know, these people about the Lord before. And it's just like, you know, the scripture talks about casting your, your, your pearls to swine, casting it to the dogs. You know, it's kind of useless. It's worthless talking to them because it goes through one ear right out the other one, literally. And they'll get right back to talking about, you know, some worldly shit, you know, because they believe in their doctors. They believe in, you know, their primary doctor. They believe in, you know, the medicines that they, you know, they don't. They don't stop to think that, okay, it's the Lord. He's the one that heals and he's the one that makes a lie. It's Deuteronomy 32 and 39. It says, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So if the Lord is, is all powerful in that, in that way, <laughs> you know, if he's saying that no one can deliver you out of his hand, then you, it will behoove you to pray to the Lord, you know, humble yourself and say, Lord, say this actually, this, this, this verse right here. Lord, I know you're the one that heals and you're the one that makes alive. Lord, I know that you're the one that kills and, I mean, um, Salakia, you're the one that kills and make alive. I know that you're the one that, that wounds and you're the one that heals. Please have mercy on me. Please have mercy on on, 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 on my, my, my son, daughter, or whoever, you know, because, I mean, you can't look at Esau as your savior or your healer and not give the Lord the honor, glory, and praise for it because he's the one that's actually healing you if anyone's being healed. <laughs> it's just that simple, man. Like I said, you know, Esau, he might be able to do a little something for you, you know which we're not supposed to even trust this clown because the scripture says to never trust thine enemy. If you can help it, you know what I'm saying, man, it's best you just eat the best that you can try and get the proper, you know, if you got to take some supplements to get the nutrients that you're missing, you know, try and work with just exercising and good gut health because the only thing that Esau should be having to do for your ass is some stitches. Uh, 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 if, if you cut yourself bad, you know, uh, a damn cast on your leg or arm if you broke it or if a nigga shot you and you need a bullet out of you. You know, really, in reality, you know, we're praying to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh for mercy that we would never have to go to this man for anything. Complete faith in the Lord, man. You know, we had to go to this man and have a tooth pull or some shit like that. But overall, he's going to give you the runaround about, about the, um, the, the, the treatment because that's all he's going to do. He's going to treat whatever it is that you that you have. He's not going to kill you. You know, then the scriptures talks about how if um, let me see, how was it worded? 
if any of you are sick, I think it's, um, let me see if this is how it's worded. Let me see, that's not the one right there. Big stupid ass raccoon out here trying to get in the damn trash can. It's lock here. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's James 5 and 14. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. This is why it's so important that you know what I'm saying? To have, you know, the brotherhood, to have, a, a, you know, elders around you, you know? It's not necessarily saying, okay, let me get on a plane and fly to New York and see if I can run down the Apostle Tahar. Or, you know, um, Apostle Gabar or, you know, the elders or anybody, you know, elders that's within your city. Someone that's in this truth that's around you. One of the brethren, man, can, can, can anoint you. You know what I'm saying? In the name of our father, Yahweh, you know, what I'm saying? Or, or, you know, to the father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh, shall and pray over you, you know, and, 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 and the prayers of a righteous man avail much. So that goes a long ways, man, because. These people are in a, you know, pretty much overall in an agreement that I believe that the Lord is the one that heals. I believe in this scripture and by the scripture being performed on me or me allowing the elder to actually anoint me and pray for me in the name of the Lord. Hey, I believe in what the Lord said with this scripture right here. So the Lord is going to see that as faith or oh, they have faith. You know what I'm saying? OK, so let's get a little more on it. It says in the prayer of the faith. Let me see. And the prayer of the faith, so like you, and the prayer of faith shall save the sick. And that's just what I pretty much just said. The prayer of the faith shall save the sick. And the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sin, they shall be forgiven him. See? So that goes a long ways, man. Prayer, anointing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, oil, you know. And, and I used to, uh, was telling the other, like the other brother at the camp one time, you know, because I, you know, I'm like, yeah, man, keep this, keep this oil, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, you know, I prayed over the oil and um, blessed it. And I have faith that that oil is blessed. I got oil in the crib. It, you know, it can be a little, little vial of just, you know, some of that good smelling oil. You just pray over it. It's some olive oil. Pray over the oil. And by faith, the Lord is going to bless that oil. You know what I'm saying? And hey, you anoint yourself. You anoint yourself, man. Pray to you. How about Shimmy Al-Shai for healing and protection over your household and things of that nature, man? You know, but that prayer goes a long ways. And I just noticed that the way that this lady was talking, you know, that, you know, you know, they believe in the science of Esau Edom, man. And then. You know, um, I get this call out of the blue and heard, heard from the person in a while. And um, it was a young lady, too. It was like, well, yeah, I just need somebody to talk to. I'm like, well, OK, what's up? What's popping? What's good? Everything all right? You know what I'm saying? But just so happened, she's got a situation going on with her daughter as well, where, you know, she was talking about, you know, um, doctors talking about possibly her, her all her organs shutting down. And, you know, these are young women. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the, the other lady, like I said, from the supermarket, her daughter, was she said, was 29. And then, um, um, two, twenty. You know what I'm saying? And you know, just had a baby, got a new baby, and little stuff like that. So I'm thinking to myself, like, well, damn, you know, like, you know. But it's like, I really can't do nothing, you know. But just, you know, pretty much overall, just pray to the Lord. Hey, well, Lord, let Your will be done. Now, do I want anything bad to happen? Hey, all I can say is, hey, if it's judgment from the Lord, it's nothing I'm going to be able to do about it by praying to the Lord. I just say, hey, Yahweh B'ashim Yahweh let your will be done. Because if it's the will of the Lord for her to be healed, she's going to be healed. But if it's the, if, if, but if it's the will of the Lord um, and this is judgment on her, then, hey, I'm, hey, I'm, I don't want to get in the way of that. You know, I don't want, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If the Lord, because what are you going to do if the Lord wants somebody judged? Hey, it just is what it is, you know, but belief goes a long ways, man. It goes a long ways. And, and, and I noticed from that that particular person as well, like just believing in Esau Edom's kingdom. I got to go. I can't wait. I'm talking about literally 
saying I can't wait to go back to the who the fuck wants to go to the hospital that bad you know <laughs> I'm like well okay well hey well you know um it's you know when you believe I, I get it you know what I'm saying because our people are, are have been downtrodden in this kingdom for so long and all we know from a standpoint of help is Esau because that you know that's one of the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28 you know where it talks about we will go we would have to go to this man for once of all things water you know, for um, for thirst, nakedness, um, um, and for food, anything else that we need, you have to go to this man. You know, you want to travel in the earth, you got to go and get his license, you got to go and get his permits, his tabs, tags, and car insurance, or whatever the hell you, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You have to go to this man for one of all things because he's over us, right? He's the one that's in control of you know the medicines or uh, uh, what can be called medicine in, in, in this in this planet, man. The Lord gave us medicines out of the earth. So we can we can fully function properly. But what does this man do? He gave us GMO foods. And that could play a huge part in what's going on with maybe both of the um, young ladies, um, daughters or whatever. You know, because that gut health is, is, is it goes a long ways, man. You see. And I can remember, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, I'm like, yeah, yeah, you got to do certain things with your diet, man. Certain things you just can't eat, you know, so, you know, because good health do goes a long way. You know what I'm saying? You want to, I mean, we eating our bread to foul amongst the Gentiles, but still we have to do the very best that we can to um, eat the best that we can, exercise and do what we can to stay healthy. So at least when we come to the Lord, when we got an ailment, the Lord know he was trying. But Lord, I'm, hey, I'm trying on my end, you know, please help me. You know what I'm saying? But the prayers of a, of a righteous man avail much. But let me get this, um, because this came to mind, because it kind of, you know, kind of pissed me off. You know, when they, you know, I'm like, well, what can I tell them? I can't, I can't tell them, because it goes in one ear and right out the other one. You know, and it's like, you know, you casting your pearls to the swine or to dogs. They, they're not gonna, they're just not gonna accept what you're trying to tell them, as far as spiritually, man. Yeah, you know, it's just, it's like they're, they're, they're. You know their 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 heads is locked. Their brain is locked. Their ears are locked. They they, they can't they can't hear it, man. So it's like okay. So why am I praying to the Lord? You know, I, that's the reason why I said you know I'm just praying that okay. Yeah, how about Shemiah? Shall your will be done? That's that you know that from there, because when you have this attitude right here, you're going to be destroyed. Um, um, Isaiah 31 and one. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. See, and that going down to Egypt. That's going off into Esau's um, help. The so-called white man, the, the things that he's telling you. You don't believe in the scriptures. You don't believe that the Lord can actually heal you. You believe in this man. It says, and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. That's the main problem with us, man. We don't seek the Lord. You should very first thing that you should be doing is seeking the Lord before you do anything about um, trying to heal yourself. You know, if you got a damn headache, you should be praying to the Lord before you even take a damn aspirin or take it because certain shit you don't even need to be taking. You just need to lay your ass down and get a nap. Pray to the Lord, you know, for, for, for you know, that for, for, you know, the healing of it and just go to you may just need to lay down. You may need to drink some damn water. You might need some just to eat. You know, because we do, you know, hey, we're in these 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 fleshly bodies, man, we hey, we be going through it, man. I know it's brothers that be going through it, man. It's got ailments and shit like that. We all got something going on. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we pray to the Lord. You how about Shemiah was shy? And, and 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 have faith that he's gonna do it. I prayed about stuff, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and it it may take some time, but then one day I'll notice, like, dang, you know what? That shit, I just I just noticed, my such and such ain't, ain't ain't don't hurt no more, you know, whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's like you just you don't even actually really notice when it's gone away until you really think about it, like, damn, you know what? Oh, shit, Lord, thank you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what? You should be thanking him right off the jump, though. You know, but I was just kind of looking at those particular situations, but I can just tell the way that they, they kick it. It's like they, they don't, you know, 
They believe they believe in Esau, man. They believe in this man's system, man. They believe that only he can can um um get things right for him. And that's gonna be the you know what's gonna be coming in these last days, man. These end days when he's gonna come down the barrel and get to telling you about how you know I got food for you, I got water for you, but I'm gonna need you to trust in me. Come and let me put this MOTB in you, man. This mark of the beauty and the beast. Because this man, his ultimate goal is to chip your ass. He's got everybody dependent upon him as is. Overall, you'd be surprised at how, um, how, how many people get up, man, and go to doctor's appointments every damn day without no motherfucking cure in, 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 in sight. It's just that, you know, they go through and, and they put you on this, they put you on that, they put you on this, they put you on that. Now, all of a sudden, you got all these goddamn side effects, this, 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 and this. And then it's like, you know, you're just a continual... Uh, 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 your whole life is, is <laughs> your whole life is going back and forth to them, man, on a week to week basis, sometimes two, three times a week. Your whole life, man. It shouldn't be that way. You should be having, um, 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 you know, trust in, in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. And again, you know, the brotherhood, that's why it's so important to have the brotherhood, man, you know, because we. You know, we really believe on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh We believe that, you know, we know for a fact that wounding and healing comes from him. He's the one that wounds. He's the one that heals. We just clearly read it. Matter of fact, let's get, um. And I know a lot of, you know, a lot of women are emotional and, and they don't, they don't think um, 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 real spiritual like that a lot of the times. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, there are some women that's into this truth. That, that know what's up, that's got some faith, you know what I'm saying? But overall, you know, you know the woman, the so-called black woman, she's going to Esau is, is immediately, immediately. Like I know, uh, uh, you know, this one woman, something was going on with her ear. The motherfucker went to the emergency room. I'm like, well, you know, is it that serious? Like, no, I don't hurt her like that, but... I'm just, you know, and motherfucker went to the damn mom. I'm like, well, damn, why you ain't just, you could have just probably just went to sleep and, and, and you done went and they done, they got you sitting there for hours and then they tell you the same shit I told your ass before. <laughs> you know, you might as well had to just went and chilled and let it, you let it, let your body work, man. Let your, let your immune system work. Everything don't have to be going to goddamn Esau, man. But hey, man, it is what it is, man. 1 Samuel 2 and 6, it says, The Lord killeth and maketh alive, he bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh rich, he maketh, the Lord maketh poor, and he maketh rich. He bringeth low, and he lifteth up. So if you're in a lowly state, the Lord put you there. If, if you're in a, you know, a, a, you know, a state of feeling well, the Lord put you there, man. The Lord is the provider. He's the one that, that, that's, that's dealing with everybody on a day-to-day -day basis, man. Scripture says not even a sparrow falls to the ground without the Lord, man. You no. Know? And that belief, man, it, it goes a long way, is having that faith. Because um, even with, you know, when, a, when the Lord dealt with the blind man and he put the clay in his eyes, like, he asked him, did he believe? <laughs> He's, you know, like, yeah, I believe. You know, hey, you, so belief goes a long ways, man. The people that was in the scriptures that got healed, they actually had faith. Remember, it, it talks about how he was only able to do a few miracles in his own hometown because there was little faith there. Wasn't really no faith there, you know what I'm saying? But it, there was a few little speckled here and there that actually believed and, and got, 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 got healed, man. So belief goes a long ways, man. It really do. I really got to say that. <laughs> like, especially amongst, amongst our people, man. You know, that belief goes a long ways. That faith is as small as a mustard, mustard seed. Long ways, bro. Because you have to have faith that the Lord is actually capable of doing it and, 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 and that he actually will. And our people were just kind of like on some old, well, I, you know, that don't go with my five senses. So, I, 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 I you know, I need to taste this medicine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I need to physically uh, uh, pick up this bottle and take a spoon of this whatever or you know, I need to physically take pop this pill and, and drink this water back with it. I need to physically, you know what I'm saying? You know. Nah, when it comes to this truth, you you only thing that should be uh, that you should need is just faith in the Lord that he's going to do what he's going to do. And that's that you pray and you leave that shit alone and you keep it moving and just wait. 
Sometimes things take a little bit longer than others, but you just wait. That's why the scripture says, um, wait on the Lord. I think that's, um, that's Psalms 37, one of my favorite chapters. I'm not sure if this is the one. Uh, Not the one there though. Uh, you have to just wait, man. Wait it out. Don't get all impatient. Start doing silly shit. Oh yeah, what's Psalms thirty-seven? Psalms thirty-seven and seven. Rest in the Lord Yahweh, and wait patiently for Him. Fret not thyself because of Him, who prospereth in His way. Because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. But you're, you know, you're supposed to rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. There was another one too. Uh, Psalms 130 and 5. I wait for Yahweh. My soul doeth wait. And in his word do I hope. See? That's a perfect scripture right there. Because you have to have faith that the Lord, he's the one that heals and he's the one that, 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 you know, he's the one that wounds. You have to have faith that, you know, uh, 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 that the Lord can actually heal you. You're doing what the scriptures is saying and you just just wait it out because because the damn enemy, he's going to try and throw a loophole. You know, or he's going to try and throw a monkey wrench in your game. He's going to try, you know, sometimes you actually feel more pain after you pray. But once that happens, just know that that's 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 the damn enemy or, or basically you're being um, tested, so to speak, to see if you're actually going to really wait or are, are you going to murmur and complain and just give up? You got to go through that pain, man, because I, I think mostly every single time I've ever prayed for some pain to go away, it always got worse as soon as I prayed pretty much. And then, you know, that my faith would kick in like, man, I ain't nothing but the devil, man. That's him. You know what I'm saying? Doing his part to see if, you know what I'm saying, he can break me to, to see if I'm going to just give up on what I just prayed for. No, you have to have faith, man. Right. And that's pretty much that's pretty much the lesson, man. I just I see, you know, kind of got that news. I, was, I felt bad for it. Um, the person, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, hey, everybody love their kids, you know what I'm saying? You know, you, you know, you don't want to nothing that, you know, happen to your children and shit like that. But, uh, yeah, I just I, I kind of just thought on it, though, because, you know, it's just like the talk, the chattering that they the shit they be saying, like, oh, you believe in Esau. You know, it's, it's really nothing I can do. You have absolutely, you know, you know. All I can do is pray to the Lord that his will be done, you know, and, and you know. That's pretty much overall it, right off. You know, I could pray, you know, what for their, you know, um, their unbelief. But again, it, you know, some belief and faith goes a long ways, man. I'm not saying that all things are possible with the Lord. He, he you know, because the Lord heals people every day that don't never ask. You know, so I'm not saying it like that. You know, the Lord heals people <laughs> of all nations. Matter of fact, the Lord is the one that heals. Um, or, or any nation of people they, they ain't necessarily Israelites The Lord is the one that wounds and heals Every single person on this planet So he, he actually heals heathens That never even call on him He, he heals so called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans He heals Israelites every day That never even acknowledge him The Lord give all nations the benefits Of pretty much being on this planet man, And none of them acknowledge him you know, But yet and still hey, So that's why I'm saying his will be done because this will is going to be done. Who's going to stop it? You know what I'm saying? That's the only way that it could go down anyway. <laughs> it just is what it is on that, you know? So I'm going to end out there. I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah and the Baba Ball. Have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man, and wait on him.